Okay, so guys, I finished applying the foundation and this is how it looks. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Tandi Gama and today I'm here with another foundation review. But a quick question, I just wanna know, is anyone still interested in foundation reviews on this channel? I know with the whole pandemic, it's not easy to like walk in store and actually test your foundation. Some places might give you a sample and some places might just tell you to shade match yourself online, which may be tricky. And a lot of you do use me as a reference. And the last time I did a uh, get ready with me, I spoke about wanting to find either a new foundation or going back to one of my old foundations. So I happened to get a drop and I felt like it would be nice to try it with you guys and I really wanted to incorporate a little bit of natural lighting into this video so that you could see the foundation in almost like its natural state you guys will let me know if you like this lighting if you don't like it we'll ditch it it's not a problem okay so I have the Elizabeth Arden flawless skin um flawless finish skin caring foundation okay so it's got some serious claims and obviously i just thought i would do my first impressions here on the channel it does come in 40 shades in three different undertones so we've got a warm neutral and cool undertone which i'll show you the shades over here and they sent me five shades so i got 540 530, 510, 500, and 460. So already I think I will try 540, which is a warm. Um, if it doesn't work, I do definitely think I would have, I would be like a 610, but I didn't get that one. If not a 610, the 600, yeah. So I'm gonna try the darkest shade. Um, and I firstly want to start off with their new Flawless Start Hydrating Serum Primer. Um, and we're going to try and make this foundation review as quick as possible because I'm not trying to waste anyone's time. I know you just want to know, is it worth buying or not? Is it worth buying the actual primer? So like already when I'm trying to dip this thing in, I'm not really getting much product out. I don't know if I should squeeze a little bit out. I, I literally just got a tiny drop that you can barely see it's not really sucking any product i don't know if maybe this type of serum doesn't work well with this plunger or it's just mine okay guys i'm gonna be very honest i don't know if it's just mine but this little plunger thing is really not pulling any product out so i'm really just gonna tap this into my hand and try and get some out you know the old school way my hands are clean by the way um so i'm just gonna put this on my cheeks and my forehead massage that in okay it does really look like it's hydrating because you can see my face is like a little glowy so it's got obviously some claims this primer is said it's supposed to care like a serum but prep like a primer. So the key ingredients in this are hyaluronic acid. I know there was like a serious obsession about hyaluronic acid in everything last year. So I do guess that it's carrying on into 2021. Well, it's supposed to hydrate your skin, refresh, lightweight, non-greasy, yada yada. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna go into the foundation, okay? And it does come with this dual end brush so the one side of the brush is designed to like give you a seamless application um i have this thing of like wanting to apply foundation with the brush that's recommended it always sort of like works out really well for me and then the one end is for precision concealing in smaller areas like close to your nose if you really want to get in there i know i'll be able to get in with the foundation so i'll probably use this just to end my concealer in okay so as i apply this i'm gonna go through the claims 
Let me just make sure I get my right shade, uh, which is 540. Guys, I'm applying this on me for the first time, so this is a first impression for me as well. I've never ever applied this on my skin. And like I said, I felt like this was going to be a bit too light. But let's see what happens if I blend it out. Um, I do definitely think now 600 or 610 would have been a better option for me. You know, I'd rather go darker than too light, especially with my hair out. But for the purpose of this review, because I only have these five shades and you guys obviously want to see how this foundation applies, I will um, try it out. So it claims that it's a 24 hour wear. Okay, so one thing I like to do with foundation is like guys, people always ask how do I get it flawless is that you can see I'm tapping it in like I'm not, I'm not brushing. I'm like gently tapping it all over my skin and that's how you get like that nice seamless flawless foundation it does give me this guys is it me or does this look ashy a bit i feel like it's got a bit of an ashy undertone but let's see if we can make it work but so far all i'm saying is that this is not my shape or maybe it is maybe let's see if we can make it work because i feel like it might oxidize a lot of foundations do tend to oxidize you guys will let me know i know you're always honest with my foundation reviews and you're like no girl that wasn't working for you. It's very um, dewy, if I can say. I don't know if it's the primer or it's the foundation. So it says, it's the key, key ingredients in this is also hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, vitamin E, and a botanical blend. Okay, okay, okay. So you're supposed to give us flawless skin and still taking care of our skin underneath. So I think it's basically foundation that's meant to take care of your skin at the same time. So I'm just gonna show you guys how this applies. And then I'm not gonna do my whole face on camera because then this review ends up being too long. So I'm just gonna do that. I think this is really perfect for people on the drier end. It looks so, it looks like my face is wet basically. So um, let me just speed through everything else and then we'll see how that looks. So I'll try to do as much as I can on camera so you guys can see that I'm really not over manipulating this foundation and basically what you see is what you get. Come on over, let's pick up where we left off. You and I lots of love just to top it off. Okay, so guys, I finished applying the foundation and this is how it looks. Obviously, you guys are like, this bitch finessed the shit out of this foundation. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I know how to finesse stuff and that's why you're on this channel so you can also learn how to finesse products because not everything comes out on the market perfect. You know what I mean? Um, anyway, so I thought I would read the foundation claims and see if they hit the mark. So... This new foundation is long wear, okay? I don't know if it's long wear because obviously I've just put this on. Long wear would be tested if we wore this throughout the day. Obviously, I will leave my comments in the description box to let you guys know how this applied throughout the day or how I felt about it throughout the day. Basically, this is what it looks like, okay? It says it's a natural finish foundation. It does have this natural finish to it. Um, I can tell you when I'm looking in the mirror right now, not all the dark spots are covered. I'll tell you, the camera makes it look perfect, but it's not that perfect. Um, not all the dark spots are like fully, fully, like this is not full coverage. Do you know what I mean? It's not full on, full on coverage, okay? 
and it says it delivers buildable lightweight coverage okay the thing is when you're building this because it's dewy it's so hard to build so much over it so i don't think you should attempt that because when you set it with um your powder you might have like blotchiness all over so don't try and build it too much a little goes a long way as much as i uh, had added onto my face it wears for up to 24 hours i don't know and i really don't like that claim i've said it before i don't like foundations that claim that we wear them for 24 hours because we really shouldn't be wearing it for 24 hours um but is it transfer proof is it does it transfer it doesn't feel like it transfers because i'm not feeling any stickiness anymore and that's because i've set my foundation if you are an oily girl set your foundation and this foundation feels like the type that you can't just wear as it is you do have to set it so my advice would be to you set the foundation okay and the last claim is that it's formulated with skincare products that are obviously supposed to help care for your skin but in order for me to know if that claim works i'd have to be using this foundation for about a month or two to see if there's actually like any improvement or anything that i'm noticing about my skin because of the foundation so that's not something i can speak on right now but based on every other claim that i have put out i will sort of like give you a bit of a de detailed feedback in the description to let you know how i feel about it um so yeah how do i feel about the foundation at first i thought the color this wasn't my shade and it did sort of like oxidize to a little bit of my shade i feel like it does have a little bit of this lightness under it even though it says it's warm it's not super super warm you know like there's foundations that say they're warm and then they become red so i like the fact that this is not red so it's great it's a little bit great right now because i just set my face because i used the urban decay all night spray and i do know this is something that will go away as the day moves on so it's not going to be as ashy looking throughout the day that i can confirm because i know after wearing foundations for a very long time i know how these things operate okay so the price of this is a price okay so you are looking at the foundation you are looking at spending 585 which is roughly sort of like the entry level and sort of like the higher end foundations anything drugstore would be between 100 to 350 rand max i think and then from like your high-end foundations you are looking from 495 going upwards so it's kind of like sort of i would say in the middle of high-end foundation then the primer uh, i do feel like the primer is greatly priced 475 because the primer that i use alone costs above 500 rand so this is great it's a hydrating serum primer so i would definitely recommend this to people with dry skin um because it's hydrating this does not affect you if you have oily skin if you have oily skin and you feel like you are dehydrated i will still recommend you to try and then if you would also like to use the brush is this retails for 450 rand so at the end of the day this is what my face looks am i happy yes i am happy with the finished look um it is very lightweight it's not too cakey i just feel like I want to see how it looks throughout the day. I want to see if it changes. Sometimes foundation tends to change color. So this is three o'clock right now. Um, I tend to know how well the foundation will sit on me in about an hour. And an hour and a half, I already know what this is going to look like on me throughout the day. So I think I will be back at 4.30 to update you. If, if I don't come back, that means I wasn't able to make it back. But I do hope I come back. So yeah, see you later. Hey guys, so I'm back. So the time is five o'clock. I think the last time I was actually here was 2.30. So it's been over two hours and I can clearly see that this foundation does hold up very well. But I must say I do owe it to the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. So a good setting spray and a good setting powder will kind of like help your foundation last a little bit longer. I still feel like it's a good match. I'm really happy with the foundation. I think all in all, I would give this foundation, well, because of coverage, I don't have my mirror now, because of coverage and it's a medium coverage, it's not full coverage because I know a lot of people that watch 
my channel are specifically looking for full coverage foundations this is like a medium a light to medium like it won't really cover every last spot like if you don't want to see any bit of darkness anywhere it's not going to do it but like it's got a natural feel and i have moved away from wearing like too cakey foundation i just feel like it's not natural enough it's too match for me so these are the sort of foundations i'm drawn towards even though they show a little bit of my skin those marks make me who i am so i've gone to a point where i really don't hide away from them so i really love the finish so i would definitely give this foundation an eight because it's sitting well i love how it easily blended it didn't go red it wasn't too yellow i didn't have to work too much to like sort of like make it fit me and i'm not really seeing like that difference between my you know like sometimes when i wear foundation you, you guys can see like my body and my face like there's a total difference like not every foundation is going to have your shade and we always try and make it work but i feel like this one is really really close you don't really see that much of a color difference between my face and my skin so it gets an eight for me and i would definitely recommend it to anyone that is willing to try it out so anyway guys i do hope that you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up so i can obviously review the next foundation on my list and join the family you never know what's coming so much love till next time